Ryan back here with a look at stacks. This is stacks on a weekly. You can see we just took out the prior high over there, uh, prior all-time high, and uh, this thing looks like it's making a massive move. All right, looks like a, a wave one, two, and we're working on a third wave right here. Uh, this thing could end up being pretty big. All right, let's put a trend ba or a uh, trend-based fib on it and take a look here and see what kind of target that we could possibly be heading for here. All right, with the trend-based fib, this is giving us a target rate of around five dollars and eight cents. This thing is deadly accurate. The Fibonacci is unbelievable. If you don't know how to use it, guys, check out a level three membership. I have uh, twenty-two out or twenty-two videos, uh, nine hours worth of videos, and you get a link to our trading Discord. All right, which that Discord is awesome. We make a, we do well over there. People, uh, you know, we, we, everybody has a bad days trading. But if you watch all my videos and you come over there, um, you're you're gonna do fine. All right, uh, not financial advice, not a financial advisor, but uh, you know, you could you could you could, uh, you could do fairly well. So we have some people over there. We did we had some great trades today. Two hundred members. You know, so even the videos, 22 of them, nine hours, you know, it'll make you a better trader in the end. It's worth 15 bucks all day long. You know, I'm a small YouTuber. I got to generate some kind of income. I just, uh, you know, off the views alone every month, you know, it's like 250 bucks. I have a lot of hours in, in these, uh, these videos during the week. So you can see how well this matches up with the uh with the regular fibonacci look at this almost exact targets five dollars uh and eight cents five dollars fifteen you know i could be off a hair on one of these um so looking like it's heading probably for five bucks this first move and all this is going to be guys is a big uh let me show you this is just going to be a big wave one two okay two-way pullback I don't know how deep it'll go and your third fourth and fifth up okay uh, the projected target for stacks for this bull run let's take a look at it you know with the Fibonacci saying up around $13 all right and this thing works it's it's pretty accurate let me show you something real quick you know if you don't believe me check this out let's go out on a uh, monthly on Bitcoin all right get this stuff off here Go back to 2017, right back here. All right, and let's see what it said. This, yeah, this is 2017. Let's see what kind of targets it had for the bull run in 2021. All right, let's go from the top to the bottom. Right there. Okay, now let's take a look. How how close did it come? It gave a target of 72 right around 72.3 what did it hit hit sixty nine thousand dollars all right this thing works i'm telling you if you don't know how to use the fib it, it's worth 15 it's worth a lot more than that a lot more than 15 bucks just to learn how to use this fibonacci you have to know how to use a fib to trade all right every single trader out there I, I, yeah i if you don't use it I, I don't know what you use for price targets so um you know I think uh, pretty much ask anybody, they'll tell you a Fibonacci is a, is a great tool. Now you can see Bitcoin just took out uh, the 786 here on the monthly. It's, it's just starting to move, all right? Around $240,000 target for this thing. Right up there, look at that, 240. So, you know, probably in the 230s. Yeah, who knows FOMO kicks in maybe it'll blow past a little bit past and hit 250 but this thing works if I showed you the Dow Jones and the NAS, uh, the S&P 500 they have all hit exactly on the top exact it's unreal all right so this move here looks like it could be heading for five dollars all right it would be a five wave up let's zoom in and see what's going on right now though okay on a daily all right, let's put a trend line on here. You know, you got to learn how to draw draw your trend lines.
and it's looking pretty decent and you'll have multiple angles of trends and, and believe me um, they can all come back into play at some time all right you got a, you got a bigger trend line heading out that way and you got a sharper trend line heading up right here okay this thing is obviously uh, doing five waves up heading towards that five dollar area now yeah the cardano or stacks looks good man what's this thing up today 25 percent to three dollars and 35 cents unbelievable that's great you know back in the bear market what was it back in the bear market real quick and then we'll get right back up here it was down to in the 40s maybe 30 high 30s 40 cents but back here the last uh, oh i'm sorry the bear market it was down to uh 20 about 21 cents you could have got it so that would have been what a 15 uh 17x or something by now you know that's that's pretty awesome if this thing does a full extension up here block stacks up to 11 dollars and 28 cents would be a target what would that be let's take a look right from where we're at now rough this is roughly it's going to end up being what is that 288 percent left about a 3x left in it you know what i'm saying because it's uh three dollars and 38 cents three or four x left in that so you know make your own mind up with that who knows could blow who could blow by it but uh this thing i'm telling you is very very accurate all right where could where could stacks be heading now all right just in this move here it's going to take a little bit to probably get up to that vibe maybe maybe not it's getting pretty close now all right we got looks like a wave uh one two you have waves inside of waves also all right you got a one two this is the third wave you're working on here the third wave is going to have five waves in it also five smaller waves than the big third wave okay if you understand what i'm saying so you have one two here's a three could have been a possible four kind of doubt it i think it's still working on a third uh third wave here and then eventually here we'll have a fourth wave pullback okay something like you know one two three i don't i don't know how high this will go four but if it's going to hit 508 you know somewhere up around something like that maybe so maybe this third wave's coming to close to an end the way you tell this Fibonacci again okay say it gets up uh, I don't know say this wave gets up let's check it here all right pull it down a little bit right around five bucks five both three so we got a low one let's see here we got this low down here it's 523 Yeah, I would say possibly right around there. You use your fib, go to the top of wave three, to the bottom of wave four. That'll give you a wave five target. All right, this thing, you know, it. Uh, we'll see. Could be getting pretty close to the end of the third wave here. All right, this is it right here where we're at. You know, um, well that would be right there. I apologize. No, look like maybe it's going to, who knows, right up around 396, might have one more push up here, 396, 394 bucks, right around that area would get you around 506, so it looks like it might have a little bit of gas left heading up, let's see, the 12 hour, still heading up here, uh, your 8 hour, get near the top, yeah, right, uh, your 4 hour, right at the top and then your daily is uh is just right at the bottom starting okay so you're probably gonna have a little bit more of a push up here uh possibly towards you know 390s area and, and then your fourth wave pullback this is not financial advice guys i'm not a financial advisor okay i, I look at charts every single day of my life i love it uh, you know as soon as i wake up you know I, I also have a job i work too i you know my health insurance and everything else and uh, but I, I absolutely love love trading. Okay, now if this stopped right here, and the, and it stopped, and this was the end of it. Okay, and this was wave five starting. Just say it was, for example. I would give it a target of four dollars and eleven cents. 
right? I just think this uh, this wave's going to get a little bit higher here, but before uh, before it pulls back, and it looks like you know according to the, the uh, RSI's, looks like it has a little bit more gas in the tank. Like I said, if it's going to get to five, you know, that's five sixteen. 504 you know right around 395 in the 390s and then the pullback if I if I was doing this myself looking for a target I, I would be watching around this area and keep your eye on the RSI's if, if you're trading it for leverage trading it or anything okay I definitely keep an eye on that and see where you're at with these things because the four is getting near the top uh, or the 8, I'm sorry. The 12 has got a little bit more left in it. Do we have any bearish divergence? No, not in the 4. The 8 looks good. No bearish, diver bearish divergence. And the 12 looks good. Just working on your third wave up. Then you'll have a fourth wave pullback where these RSIs will get to the top and start rolling over. You'll have your fourth wave pullback and then your fifth wave, it looks like, up towards $5. So we're going to leave this on here uh, for the next video. We'll see how it works out, see if we get up here. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so very, very much. I appreciate you watching my videos. Um, you know, if, you, if you'd want, please check out a Level 3 membership. Like I said, we have 200 members over there. We would love to have you. Have a great day, everybody.